A health minister usually has a lot on her mind, but it was what was on her head that's forced some downtime for a vet Darth. I've sort of lost count trying to figure out how many staples and stitches are in my head right now. She's had a melanoma cut out. Sore, <laughs> very sore, uh, but believed that um, they've got it all out. It was spotted by her eagle-eyed hairdresser during a recent visit for the minister's birthday. The freckle, which I thought it was initially, did seem a little bit not um, consistent with the, both of the sides of the diameter and was a bit blurred. Tani Hudson has been a hairdresser for 20 years. It's the second time she's found a melanoma on a client. She says hairdressers shouldn't be afraid to point out anything unusual. They need to know that it isn't you know, to make them upset or uncomfortable. It's to, you know, advise them of health conditions. Even in winter, there's no shortage of sunshine in the Sunshine State. Queensland has one of the highest rates of melanoma in the world. Two in three Australians will be diagnosed with skin cancer in their lifetime. Across Australia, 16,900 people were diagnosed with melanoma in 2021. That's one every half an hour. A reminder to be vigilant for any changes. It's really important that people know their own skin and if they see any mole, freckle or lump that's changing in size, shape or colour, uh, that they get medical advice about that as soon as they can. It's one place we can't check on our body and it's really hard to find um, you know, something like that in your hair other than the hairdressers. A potentially life-saving move by a hero hairdresser. I should get a cape. I should get a cape. <laughs> Emily Grimens, ABC News.